There is an animal in the animal kingdom who even lions are afraid of it, can you guess it? This is holder of world record, of the world's most fearless animal, drumroll please. That's right, it's honey badgers. They will eat anything, and yes, we mean anything. They are omnivores which means they eat meat and vegetables so anything from insects, eggs, plants, roots, bulbs, reptiles and even small animals. And who knows if they become very hungry. They might even try lions for a change. They known to be insanely fearless. There is a viral video of two badgers fighting a whole pride of lions. And hyenas, you might ask. Why they are invincible? Well. It's because honey badgers have exceptionally thick skin, in fact, thicker than almost any other animal, apart from elephants, rhinos, and giraffes. Their skin is at least 6 mm thick, which to put into perspective is thicker than a buffalo, an animal more than 50 times its size. Honey badgers have many reasons to be fearless. As I said before they have very thick, about 1 4th inches, rubbery skin, which is so tough that it's been shown to be nearly impervious to traditionally made arrows and spears. Further, their skin can take a full blow from a sharp machete, without necessarily cutting the skin all the way through. At this point, I won't be surprised if someday they take down a tank. Honey badgers have the well-earned reputation of being fierce, feisty little mammals. Also known as a rattle, the honey badger belongs to the Mustelidae family of mammals, which also includes weasels, otters, ferrets, wolverines and other badger species. However, the honey badger is classified in its own subfamily, Melivorini, and is the only species in the genus Melivora. And they are known to be very aggressive, they are related to skunks. So that means, Like a skunk, a honey badger is able to release a foul-smelling odor when threatened. The stink bomb is shot from a gland at the base of the badger's tail, typically the gland is used for territorial scent marking, but it also serves as a great defense against predators. Apparently they are great mothers, mother honey badgers have been documented attacking animals like jackals, lions and leopards to protect their offspring. Female badgers are wonderful providers for their young, at times kids will remain with their mother until they have outgrown. Honey badgers have relatively big brains for their body size. They are one of the few non-primate species to use tools, widely considered a sign of intelligence in the animal kingdom. Captive honey badgers have been known to work together, to unlock gates and use rocks, a rake, mud and sticks to escape from their enclosure. Not only do honey badgers know that they are incredibly tough, it seems other animals do as well. There is a theory that cheetah cubs are born with the very same black and white markings of the honey badger in an attempt to imitate this small but ferocious creature. What people don't understand about cheetahs is they are bad at being cats. They can't climb like leopards, they aren't strong like lions. They get constantly bullied and have troubles with cubs, being snatched especially by hyenas, honey badgers do not get messed with in this manner. Most predators keep them at arm's length, because they are absolute monsters pound for pound. They won't kill a lion, but they have lion killer attitude. If your cubs look like one of these it's less likely to be messed with, do note this happens kind of a lot in nature. It is called mimicry. Snakes, insects, and such do it all of the time, not just cheetahs. It's not by coincidence, it just happened via evolution. Let's talk a little about mimicry. Mimicry means the act of imitation, but in the animal world, it is defined as the close external resemblance of an animal to another animal, plant, or inanimate object. Animals mimic other animals, plants, and other things, in a wide variety of ways, from visual mimicry to auditory or olfactory imitation at its core, animal mimicry is always about survival, but sometimes that means using a clever bit of mimicry in order to catch food. Predators will employ the former, known as aggressive mimicry, while prey will use defensive mimicry to protect themselves insects. We'll talk more about mimicry in future video. That was it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, see you in the next video.